Hey guys, how's it going out there in YouTube land? Well, I thought I'd show you my new camera since you know I've had it for weeks now and I should have done a video about this a while ago. Anyways, there's your zoom rocker. I'm not really sure what this is, if it's another microphone. I never really looked into that, but I know it's got microphones in the front. It's got stereo microphones in the front actually. Uh, you know, it's 32 optical zoom. It's, uh, hold on, it's, it's the Vixia HFR600, Canon HD, it's got a uh, lens protector, a nice one too, I like these, I prefer these ones, the automatic ones screw up a lot. It's a little tricky getting my little fuzzies on there, they're not quite on there perfect, but they work. Came with a decent sized batteries, not as small as the other batteries. And of course it's got a tripod mount. And let's see on the side here. So we have a microphone jack. Slash headphone jack. How the fuck does that work? Oh wait, there we go. Sorry, microphone jack, AV out. I thought this was over here. <laughs> there, we got a microphone jack, an AV out jack, which is basically a headphone jack. Well, it is a headphone jack, HDMI out, and USB, and then the SD card goes in there. Very simple on-off play button there. I can't see that all too well, but uh, it's all touchscreen. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. It's uh, it's a good camera. I've been really impressed by it. I mean, I can't beat it for a hundred bucks. I mean, I did only pay 60 for this one I'm filming with, but uh, I do enjoy the video from the other one much better than the video from this. I'm still debating which one I like better for holding. Uh, this one's a little smaller, so you hold it a little differently. I don't know if that's better or worse at this point, but, uh, you know, I just thought I'd show you guys right quick. Definitely makes making videos, good videos, easier, especially when you get two of these cameras. You know, that way you can film with one or the other or both, depending on uh, your situation. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It's the 16th of February. It's about, eight, I don't know, it looks like about 6 to 8 degrees outside. Well, actually, I can tell you what temperature it is. It's 7 degrees outside. Look, you can see. You can see my weather station good today. It does wind speed, air pressure... Wind chill, um, you know, weather forecast, got the date, the time, uh, humidity, nothing too major, but still a nice little rig. Um, oh yeah, that's probably for another video, but uh, I'll tell you right now in this video anyways, if you ever get one of these weather stations and your remote sensor, this is my remote sensor, keeps going out and disappearing and dying every time it rains. The problem with these rigs I've found is they really do not like water. Even really heavy humidity can shut them down. Uh, they just seem to go into idiot mode when they get wet and they don't broadcast anything. Anyways, uh, my mother actually came up with the best fix for that. I gave her my old weather station and uh, she took the sensor and threw it in a baggie. And what a great idea. I did the same thing to mine. I haven't had a problem. My father did the same with his. And he hasn't had a problem. So I think I am going to do a quick video on that besides this one. But I just thought I'd uh, let you guys know. In case you only see this one. You never know. Sorry I'm squinting so much. The sun's in my eyes and I get snow blinded really easy. My eyes are really sensitive. Um, I've been wearing sunglasses now for uh, religiously for about 10 years. And it's made my eyes a lot more sensitive, so in this winter time, I really get blinded by the bright snow. But uh, on the nice days especially, but it's so nice to see this all melt off. I hope it keeps melting off and starts being spring soon, because I'm done with winter. Screw winter, fuck that shit. <laughs>